Hey, how you guys doing out there today? This is Stefan Jimenez from the Roto Beast team, and I'm here to present you our NFL Week 7 preview, just to kind of get you a general idea of some teams that we're going to be targeting this week when building our lineups. Um, so as always, if you want to watch our full video, please go subscribe to our YouTube channel, at Roto Beast. And if you want to play the actual lineups that we're playing this weekend, please visit our website at www.rotobeast.net. Okay, so let's jump into it. First and foremost, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but we got to start this video off with the Pats, New England Patriots. They have the highest implied total um, this week at 29.3 points. Um, they're a three and a half favorite against the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Atlanta has the 27th ranked defense in the league. Um, they're 22nd overall versus the pass and 29th versus the run. Um, so I definitely think the Pats are going to put up some points this week. Um, I really like them. I'm going to be targeting, you know, the usual suspects. You got Grunk. You got Hogan, who's been playing good. Um, he busted last week. But, uh, you know, he's a, he's been very good all week. And, you know, people bounce back uh, more times than not when they have a bad week. Um, and then you got the GOAT, Tom Brady. Even though he's hurt, I mean, the guy's still good. Plain and simple. Um, so, yeah. So, Pats are the first team I'm going to talk about. Um, next, we'll move on to the New Orleans Saints. They're going against the Green Bay Packers. They have a 26.8 implied um, total. Um, they're a negative 5.5 favorite. Um, so, Vegas definitely thinks that they're going to win this game. Um, now that Aaron Rodgers is on the shelf for the Green Bay Packers. And they're going against a backup quarterback. Um, you know, Breeze, I feel like Breeze is going to go into this game knowing that he should win this game. And he's going to, you know, do do everything he can to win. Um, he had a pretty good week last week, but um, it could have been better. And I'm waiting for that monster week from him. And it definitely could be this week. Um, you know, so definitely we like the Saints. Um, you know, and, and another thing, too, is that uh, the Green Bay Packers defense, is it's a mediocre defense. They tend to struggle. Um, against the uh, pass catching running back, so I really like uh, Mark Ingram. Um, he showed us last week that without Adrian Peterson there, he was going to have a major workload. Um, so I definitely like him again this week. Uh, next, we'll talk about the Philadelphia Eagles going against the Washington Redskins. Um, I think this game's going to be a shootout. I mean, I really do. It's 26, it has a 26, uh, I'm sorry, the Eagles have a 26.5 implied total. Um, you know, they, they lost last week. It was a tough loss and, and, you know, they're back at home. They're a 4.5 favorite. Um, so I definitely like the Eagles going against the Redskins. Division games are always tough and, you know, they usually end up being pretty good games. And like I said, I think this one for sure is going to be a, a shootout. So I like the Philadelphia Eagles a lot. Um, next, we'll talk about the Cowboys, not because they're my team, but they're in a great spot. Um, they're a six-point they're a six point favorite. They're going against the 49ers. They have a 26.3 implied total. Um, San Francisco defense just sucks, plain and simple. Um, they're decent against the run, but they're, they're horrible. They're horrible versus the pass. Um, I really like Dak and Dez this week. Um, Cowboys are in a great spot, so I definitely would you know look at them a little bit. Um, next, we'll talk about the Tennessee Titans. They're going against the Cleveland um, Browns. Um, the Browns just suck, plain and simple. They're a five-and-a-half favorite. Um, they have a 26 implied total. Browns are 32nd in the league versus the pass, and their defense overall is not very good. Um, Mariota looked pretty good in his return from injury last week. Um, I definitely see him having another good week this week. And, you know, the, the Tennessee Titans, they have, you know, some decent receivers. Um, I, I especially would look at Rashard Matthews. Um, the guy just continues to prove every week that he's a, he's a big-time player, and when he gets his targets, he makes the most of them. Um, so the last team I'll talk about is the Atlanta Falcons. They're going against the Patriots. I mean, I think this game's going to be a shootout. You know, it's going to be a rematch of the Super Bowl. Uh, Falcons, you know, it was a horrible loss for them. So I, they're definitely going to try to show the Pats what's up. And, and they have a 25.8 implied total. Um, the Pats D is just trash. Plain and simple. They're dead last in the league in DVOA. Um, they're 30th versus the pass. Um, I really, really... Um, love Julio and I love uh, Freeman this week. The Pats also struggle against uh, pass catching running backs. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. What I'm going to be looking at this week. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with my um, quarterback picks. Um, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.